What's going on everyone? It's DV and after a much needed break from the last season, it's time to finally announce season three of the Bed Wars Clan Tournament. Many of you know I was planning on doing a league next instead, but I decided, you know what, because the league's not ready, I got so much more work to do for planning that and setting it up and testing it. I decided, why don't we do another tournament? We're, so we're just doing season three. We're going forward with it. It's been a lot of fun. We learned so much from the last two seasons. So first season, we had an overwhelming response with over 800 clans signed up. You don't remember that? It was crazy. I, I only expected like maybe 300 to sign up and we had 800. Now, second season, the last season we had, we had over 1,500 clans sign up. And this time, if it's anything like the last time, we're expecting at least 2,000 or more. So who knows? Hopefully it's not that crazy because it's kind of, it's overwhelming we get that many signups. Now, last season, we did have 128 clans face off with over 512 players participating in a 4v4 clan tournament. That's a whole lot of Bedwars players. And this season, we're going to do, you know, a little bit more. We're going to do something a little bit more. In fact, it's a little insane. I don't even know if I should be doing this, but we're going to do it anyway. This time, we're expecting over 1,000 players. So we're going to be doing 256 clans this time. There was a lot of clans that really wanted to get in. We couldn't fit them all. And we decided, you know, why not? Why don't we do it? You know, I think the first clan uh, tournament we did was like, what, 30? I think we had like 30 something clans. That was a lot of work. Then we did 128 clans. So that was a lot of work. Now we're going to do 256 clans. Why not? Why not? But it's going to be a little easier. It's still going to be a little easier than the last time. I'm going to explain why in a second. Now, the prize pool is $1,500 worth of Robux or at least Roblox gift cards because we got to do it through the gift cards to stay compliant with Roblox in terms of service. Okay. We can't be doing like no, none of this group stuff that people are all, you know, doing and stuff. You got to do it through Roblox gift cards based on their terms of service. So it is going to be a thousand dollars for first place clan. And then it's going to be $500 for the second place clan. Now this is the third tournament. Like I said, that I've run for Bedwars and we've learned so much of what works and doesn't work. Last season, we had a lot of trouble with clans using auto clickers. Yep. They were using auto clickers like crazy. Some of them are saying, no, no DV. I was just using a macro or no, no, I was just scroll clicking or no, no, I was butterfly clicking. Well, you know what? It just created so many problems because people were using this as an excuse to get a rematch. Someone would complain, oh, they were using auto clicker and I want a rematch because it wasn't fair. They were using auto clicker and that's your rule. So this time we're not having that rule, okay? We, if you're an auto clicker, unfortunately we can't do anything about it because it just created so much chaos and hopefully you'll get suffocated by blocks for using auto clickers. But this time we're not going to do that. Hopefully the devs will have a CPS cap by the time the tournament starts. I'm going to ask them about that. Maybe there's going to be a setting we can use. But this time Time, we're not going to deal with that. The other thing that we had a lot of problems with last season was that there were issues with anti-cheat. So if you remember, you would like throw, you know, a pearl and you'd get anti-cheated and then you're in the void. So this time we have the set AC option. You can turn that off during the match. Thankfully, we can turn that off. We can control that. Next up, this is a four week tournament. Unlike the last time, I think it was like three weeks. We ended up extending it. This is going to be a four week tournament with two matches per week for each clan that's still active in the tournament. So if you have the time to participate, great. If you don't, if you can't handle that kind of schedule, because we had a lot of players and clans saying, I only have time to play on the weekends. Well, that's not going to cut it for the tournament. Okay. This is a serious tournament, lots of money on the line. If you don't have the time, maybe set out this one and wait for the next one when you have more time. Um, the reason why we do that is there's so many clans and in order to be able to do this, there's, like I said, two matches per week. There's a lot of rounds. There's eight rounds to the tournament. We don't want it to be a two month tournament. Okay. So you got to be able to do those two matches. If your clan gets eliminated, then no big deal. You don't have to worry about it. Right. But if your clan does move on, make sure you're committed. Like last season, the matches will be held on a 30 v 30 map and it is a best out of three tournament. And I hope all of your clan members are watching this because we got that same question. I want to say 5,000 times last season, okay? Make sure your clan is watching this video. So it is best out of three. And what that means is it's the clan to get two wins first, right? So you got to win at least two rounds to get that. And if you, if you get two wins, you don't have to move on. You don't have to do a third match, okay? So that's how best out of, you know, three work. You only need two wins. Now, teams are 4v4, which basically means four players on each team, right? With no kits and no enchantments. So those are the only rules. You need to be on a 30v30 map, 4v4, um, no kits, no enchantments, and obviously no spectators. Please, no spectators. Um, spectators are, you know, able to see what's going on with the entire match. So you don't want spectators because they're going to ruin it. Now, like I said, the big difference from last season is that this season is no CPS cap rule. I already mentioned that. Um, we just didn't want to have to deal with that whole abuse thing. We don't want people like sending in petitions and appeals all the time. The other big difference is that we're not going to be observing the matches this time. So that's why we're saying no spectators. There should only be eight players in that match. Okay. So there should only be four on each side. If someone gets disconnected, the, the match goes on and they can still rejoin as long as they're able to rejoin. Now this does exclude the semifinals. We will just because we want to celebrate the final and semifinal matches, we will be helping coordinate those and the clan leaders will be working with us on that scheduling. 
But essentially how this is going to work is the clan leaders will be coordinating within the matchmaking Discord channel just so we have record keeping on my Discord server at discord.gg slash dbplays. Once matches have been completed, each clan is going to post the results of that match in the channel and the winners are, you know, basically get to move on to the next round and we'll update the bracket and such. Now, of course, there's no glitching or exploits allowed and except for legal glitches. Like if you're going to use the eight balloons glitch, that's fine. That's legal. There's certain things like duping the generator where you walk up and, you know, you do a split at the generator pool. That's fine. There's things like that that are totally okay. But if you're doing things that are like illegal glitches, like no clipping, you're hitting people through walls, weird stuff that would essentially be considered an exploit, like you might get called out for hacking, then you best not do it. If in doubt, you can always ask any of the event staff on the Discord server, especially if you're unsure about it. You may as well ask, you know, they're, 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 they're there to help. Now, any clans accusing any other clans of exploiting or breaking rules will have the burden of proof in video form to show that the other clan was breaking rules. So you do have to prove it. You just can't say, oh, they were cheating and not show any proof that they were cheating. Okay, we got to be able to see it. Otherwise, for all we know, you're just, uh, you know, crying about it that you lost. Now, it's always a good idea to record that video just for that case. The one thing that is super important to me, though, is showing sportsmanship. As anyone knows, I'm that sportsmanship type guy. Yeah, I get mad, right? I get mad at, you know, if we lose or someone does something kind of mean to us or camps us, whatever. Everyone has emotions in a competitive match, and that's totally okay. It's okay to trash talk, you know, especially being playful. It's to totally okay. But don't get into massive arguments, you know, start name calling and being really, really mean if you're just joking around that's all good if you're like oh so and so is trash and they're you're friends with them and they're you know joking back with you no big deal now you know like i said it is a competitive tur tournament and you just got to keep your emotions cool like you know when they run high you just got to keep them cool but drama creators anyone that's like raiding other clans doing weird stuff creating drama just to create conflict and make everyone mad during the match we're they're risking getting that that clan basically yeeted you know we'll, we'll we'll exit them or throw that clan out from the tournament if they keep it up so now that you know what is going on with the tournament. On to the burning question you have, which is how to sign up when and where, right? You want to know where, well, what do I need to do, DV? I want in. I already know all this stuff. I participated in the last one, maybe. Or I'm, you know, competitive. Maybe I'm a clan war, you know, person. Either way, here's the details you need to know. First, to sign up, you need to go to my Discord at discord.gg slash dvplays. You do need to at least be 13 years of age to join Discord. So if you're not, you might want to transfer ownership of your clan temporarily to a friend, maybe that is 13 years of age, and have them sign up and handle everything thing for you on our discord you do need to be very present on the discord meaning you need to communicate that's going to be really important but what you're going to do is you're going to go over to the bwct signups channel and follow the instructions so again last season we had 1500 clans sign up and we only have 256 spots available so you must have at least four members to sign up and you must be the clan leader ideally so transfer your ownership if you have to because we can't transfer clan ownership after the fact so if you sign up your clan and you're not the leader we can't transfer it back to the leader it just doesn't work like that we can't have people you know, transferring contacts and leadership constantly. So it just creates a lot of work for us to manage. We have no way of verifying that you're the actual leader and, and all that kind of stuff. So um, there's also no guarantee, like I said, that your clan's going to be entered. You know, we want to try to do first come first serve, but ultimately what we're going to be doing is looking for clans that are bigger, clans that are, you know, maybe a little bit more competitive or playing, not a bunch of alts. So we do cross check users. We check everything. And we're also going to be trying to group clans by time zone again. So if you're in the US or North, you know, maybe you're in Europe or you're in Asia, we're going to try to group you all up. So make sure you enter proper information during the signup so that we know what time zone you're in. Now, any star creators, so if you're a content creator and you're a star creator that wishes to participate in the you know your own clan, just reach out to me directly. You can tweet me or, or whatnot. There's ways to get a hold of me. Um, but next, signups will begin Friday, July 15th at 4 p.m. Pacific time within that signups channel. That's when we're going to open things up. That's when we're going to post the forms and such for you to be able to sign your clan up. And then the signups are going to close essentially four days later on Tuesday, July 19th at 4 p.m. Pacific time. The match schedule this is the most important piece is when you, after you sign up, whether or not you get in, you're going to know because we're going to post the match schedules early morning Friday. But before we do that, we will be asking for all of the leaders who are, you know, actually in the tournament that we've accepted. We will ask you to verify that you're on the discord. If you don't, if you don't chime up, you know, chime in when we ask if you're here, then unfortunately there's no way you're going to be able to play. So we want to make sure everyone's on the discord and communicating. Again, schedule will be announced early morning Friday, July 22nd, and clans will be able to start scheduling their first match at that point and they will have three days to complete them. So you're going to have for every single round, you're going to have three days to schedule that with your opponent and get it completed. If your opponent is trying to reach out to you and you're not replying, they're going to get the win. And we have a specific matchmaking channel for that so that we have record that people are trying to ping each other and, and they're actually talking. So last season, we allowed clans to replace other clans. This season, because of the number of clans participating, basically double, we're not going to be allowing replacement clans. So if you don't get in, unfortunately, there's no way to let you in. So you have to just wait until we open the league. The I'm going to talk about the league in a 
22nd. So if you miss this one, don't be worried. There's something bigger coming. Now, if you're interested in having your Bedwars clan join, again, head over to my Discord server at discord.gg slash dvplays. Get your clan signed up um, on the date that it opens. Important though, that again, the Discord's only 13 plus. Okay, so make sure you are of age. Now let's talk about the league. So Bedwars League. Yes, it is coming. It is being worked on. Bedwars League basically allows every single clan to participate. It's open to everyone. We will have a sign up cutoff um, for the um, league and, you know, depending on what kind of stage it's in, but you're going to be able to still join in the middle of the league. So there won't be like, oh man, only three days to sign up. No, you can create another clan, create another clan. You can do clans all day, but it's only one clan per user. It's going to be a pretty cool setup. It's just still in progress. So I will keep you posted on how that league is, you know, forming. I've been talking with the devs a lot about this league. So expect something really, really interesting with this league. I can't wait to actually announce it once everything's, you know, solidified. But for now, let's focus on this tournament season three, and then I will make a bigger announcement. So if you miss this, don't worry. Something cool is coming. It's going to be bigger and better than this tournament. So thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to see what kind of competition arises from this event. Last time we had a lot of craziness. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. We're only, man, we're only like 50,000 away from 500,000 subscribers. Appreciate all of your support. That's the best way to support me. Make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up. That's all I ask. Maybe watch a couple more videos. You know, who knows? Until next time, peace.